desperate to win. Uh, two guys that are ready to fight. You know, I think Joseph's going to be instructed to move a little bit more in this fight, and Chisora is just going to keep walking him down like a, um, you know, a ball, and must win. You know, I mean, good win for Joseph last time out against Far, a little bit scrappy, but he's been out for a long time. So this is really the fight that's going to tell us more about Joseph Parker. And if you look at his positioning now in the world rankings, if he wins this fight, he's bang, bang in line for a, for a world championship fight. So massive fight for both guys. Um, you know, could be the final roll of the dice for Derek Chisora. And a defeat for Parker would be, would be crippling, really, for his world title ambitions. Great, great move. I mean, I like... Kevin Barry, you know, those guys got a great relationship, but sometimes you need something a little bit fresh. Joe looks great. I mean, almost too lean yeah, for me, you know, but obviously Andy wants him built for speed in this fight. Andy's got a great boxing brain. I think he's a fantastic trainer. And sometimes you just need to freshen things up. So I'm expecting a very good Joseph Parker on Saturday. Yeah, I think Joe don't really know how to take him. You know, when that yeah. Spider-Man turned up at breakfast and Joe was like, what's going on here? You know, is there anything else going to happen to me? And I think Derek does that. Like, he likes to put you on edge a little bit. So a lot of this stuff, friendly, friendly, will probably just be making Joe think, what's going on here? You know, and it's, you know, it's a weird environment here. You've got guys that are on top of each other in a bubble. Uh, it's going to get lively, and whether that's at the press conference today or at the, the weigh-in. And then come Saturday, it will get really lively. Joseph, yeah. Yeah, he is. I mean, I think he's one of the nicest guys in boxing. You know, uh, it's funny, actually, we've got Anthony Crawler in, uh, in the bubble this week, and most people have always said he's the, the nicest guy in British boxing. And I, I think, you know, Joe's a, a top guy. You know, people have a lot of respect for him. I think, I think people f feel a little bit that he's underachieved. I think that, you know, he's won a world title, but I think he, um, you know, he, he'll be kicking himself with looking back at the Joshua performance. And, you know, with Dillian, he... He almost caught up with him at the end. I think he just needs that sort of big win. Um, whether that happens on Saturday night, we'll, we'll see. I think it's going to be a, an all-action fight. You know, Chisora will bring an enormous amount of heat and pressure. And it would be interesting to see what Parker's learned under Andy Lee in just sort of seven, eight weeks. But uh, I expect a, a really, really good fight. And um, it's one that, look, if it's great, they can do it again. But if not, if it's uh, decisive and definitive, it's pretty hard to see the loser uh, coming back at top level.